in the circuit in figure 2 below the switch this switch has been in position a for a very long time at t equals zero the switch moves instantaneously to position b for the circuit after t equals zero determine if it is overdamped critically damped or underdamped then Calculate how long it takes for that circuit to reach steady state after the switch is operated. We need to find a P operator representation of the circuit for T greater than zero, and that's what we do. And for that, we will represent the inductor by its impedance and the capacitor by its impedance as well. Resistors' impedances are themselves, as we will know. This is the circuit for T after zero. The left-hand side does not exist anymore. Seven volts, one ohm, eight ohms, and the impedance is in the P operator. This is one P, P, and this is one over CP, four over P, the P operator of Oliver Heaviside. To determine if the circuit is overdamped, critically damped, or underdamped, all we need is a differential equation whose solution is any voltage or any current in that circuit. A natural candidate would be, for this reference node, the voltage of node 1 here. That's all we need, a differential equation for that voltage V1. We begin with assume directions of currents in the circuit, and then we write that KCL equation for node 1. Currents going in, this one, 7 minus V1 divided by the impedance of the branch, 1 plus P. And that is equal to the two currents leaving the node, this one, V1 over 8, and this other one, V1 divided by 4 over P. From that equation we can solve symbolically for V1 to obtain a differential equation. This is the equation we need to solve for V1. Symbolic solver and solve for that one. And this is the differential equation we would need to solve for V1 in the heaviside P operator notation. Observe the coefficients of the differential equation 2, 3, and 9. We can write that equation using Heaviside's notation, like this. The coefficients of the denominator 2, 3, and 9, and the right-hand side, 56. To determine if the circuit is overdamped, critically damped, or underdamped, all we need is to find the eigenvalues of this equation, that is, to find the characteristic equation, and solve for its this characteristic equation. The roots for that one are, these are two complex conjugate numbers, obviously, because the quantity under the square root is a negative number. 9 times 2 is 18 times 4 is 72. Of course, this is larger than 3 squared, which is only 9. Moving that up, we find those two eigenvalues. The sigma is negative 3 quarters and omega is 1.984. What are the units? For both is inverse seconds. This is 1 over seconds and this is radians per second, which is, of course, 1 over seconds. This answers the first part of that question. The circuit is underdamped. But, of course, that is only part of the question. We didn't need to find the eigenvalues to say it was underdamped. We would only have needed the discriminant of this equation to determine that the solutions were complex conjugate and state that the circuit was underdamped. But we need those values because of the other part of the question. This one. How long it takes the circuit to reach steady state after that switch is operated? Of course, that is ruled by this component of the eigenvalue. We know the shape 
of that solution of that voltage v1 in this case k1 e to the negative 0.75 t is sine omega t 1.9 a 4 t another constant and a, a final value these are volts well this uh, coefficient here is the one that defines how long this oscillation will take to disappear before we are left with the final and or steady state value well what value is that hmm if this is this is negative 0.75 is no other than negative 1 over tau that means that tau in this case is 4 over 3 which implies that to to reach steady state we need 5 taus and 5 taus would be 20 over 3 that is 6 and 2 thirds of a second and that is the answer to the second part of the question that circuit needs 6 seconds and 2 thirds of a second to reach steady state after the switch this switch is moved to position B and that is the answer thank you very much